Hi, this is Mario from Grays Harbor Unders and LD Comfort. Today, I'm going to tell you the truth about wicking underwear. And many people believe that it is the answer and the latest in helping you survive some extreme situations. Extreme conditions where moisture becomes a problem on the skin. Well, it is a problem on the skin, but wicking fabrics are not the answer because wicking fabrics are limited in keeping moisture off of your skin. I have a few examples here of things that are wicking and I'm going to show you just what they mean. Let's pour a little water into this. Watch this. Kleenex. It's soaked. What happened to the water? Well, it wicked right into this fabric. You can call it a fabric. Well, Kleenex are wicking. What about a paper towel? Paper towel is wicking. Moisture will transfer right through it. Well, how does that keep your skin dry? It doesn't. That's the problem. Towels are wicking. It still doesn't keep your skin dry. Moisture moves into the fabric and many um, garment manufacturers will tell you that, oh, this is really great because it's wicking. All it does is suck moisture into that fabric. Wicking means spreading. This capillary action just moves moisture perhaps away from the skin and into the fabric. But the only time your skin's really going to be dry is after that garment dries. And that's where we get a problem. Cotton also is wicking. Cotton has some other problems also because it has lint. If you hold moisture laden fabric against your skin, your skin is going to be deteriorate and you'll have moisture damage. That softens the skin. It leaves it to abrasions. And when you have lint that comes off of cotton, it can embed that self into that tenderized skin and you'll have irritations and that can lead to rash. Many people nowadays understand that in extreme conditions, cotton is one of the worst fabrics that you can use. So let's move over to a synthetic fabric like polyester, polypropylene, capillene, indicating a capillary action to move water off of the skin. And they do work perhaps better than cotton because they won't have lint. However, what if you enclose yourself in your outer garments, your motorcycle riding garments, or your work garments? What happens to that moisture? Does it evaporate? No, it does not. Unless you have something else in contact to pull that moisture away, what soon happens is the moisture soaks up into that fabric and it still holds that moisture against your skin. That's a problem. If you're going to look for some fabric that has an inner dry layer, you have to use what we call a dual layer fabric. It has an inside and an outside that is different. If you put moisture into this fabric and you wonder, well, where did it go? It went to the outside. It went into the fabric. Let's try something here. We're going to put a little bit of the inside and the outside. That's the outside. That's the inside. We're going to take a magazine. This is some friends of ours. They have horns and hooks magazines. You'll see some of our ads in there. Let's open this up. We'll put it inside. We're going to close the magazine. I could sit on this, but then you wouldn't really be able to see that uh, I'm not playing here. Both sides, we'll pack this down. Let's see what happens. I know I'm being a bit noisy. This one is dry. Oh, look at this one. It is wet. You can see the difference yourself. That's what happens to moisture when you use a dual layer fabric like we use in LD Comfort and Grace Harbor Unders. This moisture is not going to stay against your skin. 
It's going to move to the outer layer of the fabric. What happens then? Your skin does not suffer from moisture damage. You are not going to get that from a single layer polyester, polypropylene, capilene, wicking garment. This is what you're going to get against your skin that's going to damage your skin. This is the truth about wicking undergarments. They're not enough to keep your skin dry. If you're running around outside in the Arizona desert, perhaps that might be okay. But if you're going to enclose yourself in your work gear or your riding gear, you're going to be stuck with moisture against your skin and your skin will not be dry until after the fabric is dry. Don't suffer from that. Use the dual layer fabric like we have in our garments and you will have a much better experience in anything, any activity that you do, whether it's indoors or outdoors. Don't rely on wicking fabrics. Get a dual layer fabric like we use in Grays Harbor Unders and LD Comfort. Now you know.